heaven and they're looking elsewhere, I think it's a great mistake. Because your opportunity was to come here to create what you thought you would create in heaven. And because it looks like hell, that's because you bought other people's creations. And that you have the opportunity to take over your own life and create your own life. And I didn't know that as a cellular biologist who was teaching biochemistry and genes. But when I owned it, and I caught a hold of those beliefs that I acquired in the first few years, the, limitating, the limiting beliefs. The one who said you can't heal yourself. The one who said you can't do this, you're not smart enough, you're not good enough, whatever those things are, we all heard, and then we become. If you eliminate those and have a blank slate and create what you want, you can create anything on this planet, including that dream you thought heaven was. It's your dream, you can create it here. And the lesson is, we let go of this physical reality and own who you really are. Who are you? Well, the simple reality is this. You know those receptors? Let's say that they're like, uh, let's say the membrane's opaque. Let's say the membrane is opaque, nothing gets in. So what color is on the inside if nothing gets in? Black. But now I say, my self-receptors are yellow, so it's like wearing a yellow sunglasses. Margaret's self-receptors over there are red. She's wearing a red sunglasses. And the light can come through the membrane, so what color is on the inside of mine? And on hers, red. And what's the point? Where did the color come from? Where did the color come from? From out here, all that is. And what does it represent? I am just a narrow frequency of the whole white light. You are a narrow frequency of the white light. You are a narrow frequency of the white light. Every one of you. What does it mean? To me as a biologist, it means this. When people talk about the white light coming back to the planet, they generally envision some person like a Jesus coming back. I think that's the biggest error of all time. The white light is here. The white light is when you put all of the frequencies together, you have white light. If you remove one solitary single frequency from the white light, you do not have white light. When we take a person and say this person doesn't fit and doesn't belong, and you throw them out, you cannot have white light. The biggest lesson is to find out we are one living organism called humanity. We are all the cells in that organism, that every human is a cell in that organism, but their educations are not correct. And it's readjusting the education and getting, uh, letting go of all the history in the past that made limitations and self-sabotaging beliefs. It's forgiving and letting go and starting with a white blank page saying what do you want from here on not who did what to who back then and this from a biologist who didn't know a damn thing about life until this understanding of the membrane hit me and the reality is I, I sit here in awe every day I wake up in awe to be on this planet and if you're not seeing that then it's time for readjusting the glasses it's time to see it again because all of you, the person sitting next to you, the person sitting behind you, are part of this white light. And as a biologist, all I can say is, man, we have really wasted a lot of time. And yet the heaven is when we walk out this door, it's available to you right now. Thank you very much for your listening. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.